Okay, so looking at it, we talked about some practical solutions you guys can take with you. <coughs> so I have a question in the few minutes we have left. And this is a question that nobody likes to talk about, but as a doctor, I feel like it's probably the most important question that we could possibly ask you guys. And that is that for most people, the reality is there's going to be one or two um, uh, outcomes for our lifetimes, okay, the people who are in the right. The one outcome could be that you start to get older, you know, you get into middle age, you start to develop some aches and pains, you start to take ibuprofen occasionally, <laughs> then daily, then Tylenol, then extra strength, the problem's getting worse. You go to the doctor, <laughs> you do injections. This is a story I've heard a lot, okay? Now, as you're getting older, you're going into older age, let's say, I don't say older age, but you're in your 60s, you're in your 70s, daily pain, you're limited in the things you can do. You'd like to go for a walk in the morning, but you walk 100 yards and your back's killing you, right? You'd like to be able to take that trip to Florida with your family, but you know that you can barely get on off the plane. You'd like to be emotionally available for your family, but you know that all the drugs you're on are making it to where it's hard enough for you to, to think right, right? So now you go down that road of five, 10 prescription drugs, and your health starts to decline, and at, towards the end of your life, what happens? You're not living the life you were created to have with symptoms, maybe diseases, with drugs, and you become, and what, are, what ends up happening for you and your family? Now you are a burden for your family, right? How many people do you think end up like that? Quite a few people end up like that. What's option B? The second option, you take action to improve your health, and you start to do the things necessary to improve on your health over time. Now, as you're getting older, you're becoming more healthy, you're not taking drugs, you're not living with pain, you're fending off these diseases that five out of six Americans are gonna die from heart disease or cancer that are in most cases very preventable, right, preventable, so now you're 60s, you're in your 70s, and now how many of you know someone who is in their 70s that they don't take any prescription drugs, they don't have a lot of pain, they don't have any health problems, you know, if the family's going on vacation, they go with them, they're not in the bedroom of the hotel, everyone's worried about them as they're doing their own thing, right? Their life doesn't revolve around their next doctor appointment or getting all their pills in the case on Sunday. Right? And now what is that person to their family? Are they a burden? Are they a true joy and an inspiration of what could be as they get older? Right? For most people, where their health is going is actually a choice. Right? So what does that mean? So People who are healthy long-termers are the ones who have made a commitment. So, which one of those are you? 